to everybody who was here at Startup Weekend. You're a huge help to our whole team. So thoughts go out. Thank you. We're Chow Locally. Our mission is to bring local farms to local tables. We have four founders and met an awesome team here who helped us out at Startup Weekend. Thank you. So there's been a strong drive to go local, and that trend has found real footing in the world of food, buying food from local producers and local vendors. And it makes sense. There's, there's strong potential for locally grown, harvested, and distributed foods to help reduce the overall impact of the food system on the environment. Um, the popularity of local foods also means that consumers may be eating more fresh whole foods versus processed foods, improving their dietary habits, um, and hopefully by extension, improving their individual health as well. And in an era in which connection to the land and connection to one's community is optional rather than vital, it connects people through food to each other and to their communities. So what's out there now and why have more people adopted it? You have farmers markets where um, selection is based entirely on attendance of the farmers. You also really have no visibility in where products or food is sourced. It could be 100 miles or it could be 3,000 miles. You have basket and CSA programs where um, there's large upfront costs and long-term commitments. You also get like a mystery box of things. There's also farmers directories which are great, but for pickup you have to go to different farms and you know pick up the produce there. So we're chatting locally and we're hopefully going to solve that. So our basic process here is we're going to create an online market. Farmers on Sunday are going to post what's fresh, what's seasonal that week. Monday through Thursday, Phoenix, the local area, can go online, shop for everything Phoenix has to offer. On Fridays, the farmers get an email that says exactly what their people order. They'll go out and harvest those 100 egg plants. On Saturday, farmers will go ahead and deliver it to a central place, and everybody here order can come and pick it up. So consumers love it because you know local foods, it's hot, it's awesome. There are actually 150 farms locally to the whole Phoenix area that have amazing produce. If you haven't ate there, better than grocery stores you could ever imagine. You can eat better by actually seeing where your food comes from, trackability to the actual farmer, or online rating system. You're gonna save time because you don't have to run farm to farm to farm or go to three different farmers markets to find the farmer you're looking for. And ultimately we wanna create a community who loves food, who loves local things, and basically foster that, 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 that whole thing going on. Farmers love it. So we went out to the farmers markets on Saturday. We hit Phoenix, we hit Scottsdale. And the biggest reason they love it is they can harvest smarter. Instead of guessing that they need to bring 300 egg plants and putting it on the table and only selling 10, and that goes to waste, they get the email which shows them exactly how many they need to bring. It's going to save them time because they don't need to go to the farmers markets. They don't need to operate, sit out in the hot sun for three or four hours. And they can really connect with a customer like never before. So we're hoping to take you know, not really displace the existing people who are visiting the farmer market. We're trying to make it easy for those who go to the grocery stores, those who aren't using farmer's markets, and really expand and to generate more demand for local food. So here's a quick demo of what we threw together this weekend. You may have to hit the little green plus sign in. We so just the, uh, okay. All right, so here's the landing page. At the top, we'll go ahead and feature some different recipes, highlight blog posts, things like that. But ultimately, what we want you to do is go down to the, the Air Phoenix area of food. Go into your vegetables, say we're looking for some chilies. So we can go ahead and see, there's, there's two farms here we've mocked up. You can see the price comparison. We can view the ratings. A description that the farmer is going to maintain and talk about. It's normal e-commerce experience. Browse the product, add it to your cart, check out, just like you're used to. Trying to keep it as simple as possible. The other thing we're offering is you can grow down, and actually we're going to throw all the farmers on the map. Once we have the farmers into our system, one thing we're going to do is actually send out a cinematography team out to the farm themselves. So the farmer can talk about their sustainability practices, how they grow, what they grow, and kind of connect to the consumer like you never before. The other thing is it gives the farmers finally a website. I don't know if you've ever been to a farmer's website, but it's built back in 1997. <laughs> so we're going to do search engine optimization for them and give them a really easy way to get a brand to themselves. So market size, grocery sales right now 254 billion. Farmers market, a measly 1.2 billion. I don't really want to displace this. And if anything, I want to grow this. But this grocery store sales, that's what I want to disrupt. I want the child locally to get in there. So we're excited to announce we have a six-week pilot. We're actually going with this thing. 
So August 1st. Time. GeorgeHelloCadilla.com and sign up.